Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create some album artwork in Adobe Photoshop. So you can see that I have my image here and we're going to start by just going into the layers palette and creating a new adjustment layer. And that's going to be a levels layer. And we're just going to select the shadows on the left and just drag this to the right, just to darken our image slightly and enhance some of the shadows that are already present. You can then also select the midtones and you can bring this down a little bit if you like as well. And at the bottom you have the eye icon and you can simply left click on this to preview how your image looked before and then again with the adjustment layer. So that looks great, I'm gonna lock the adjustment layer now. What I'm also going to do is select our text tool and just left click anywhere on the image and I'm going to type my secret so that's going to be the title of this album and we can go to edit down to free transform and hold shift to scale up from one of the corners and using the text tool we can select the text and from the top select a color of white Then again, if we use the text tools to select our text, we can change the font. So we'll change this to railway, and I think we'll go with, with railway extra bold. And let's just round that font size up to 240 points. We can also go into our font options, and we can adjust the letter spacing. So I'm going to increase this to 300 and you'll see that the space between each of the letters increases considerably. And I'm going to position that around about here so it's central, both vertically and horizontally as well. And we're just going to zoom in. And what I'm going to do is just remove part of the E. So this is where planning your image and selecting something suitable and thinking how your text is going to work with that image becomes quite important. So with the My Secret text selected, I'm going to create a new layer mask. And with a foreground color of black and a soft feathered brush. Remember you can decrease or increase the size of your brush using the left and right square brackets. And I'm just going to brush into that mask with black as my foreground color, just so the E of the word secret is hidden behind her arm. And we can also switch to white as the foreground color and just paint back into that mask. Let's zoom in a bit further. And if we make our brush nice and small, we don't want too much feathering on the edge. So if we zoom back out, it looks like the E is hidden behind her arm. And with a word like secret, there aren't many other words that are similar to that. So as someone looks at this, they will automatically fill in the blank. So if we then right click our My Secret layer and select Duplicate Layer and select OK, we can just drag this down. We can right click on the layer mask and click Delete Layer Mask. And then with our text tool, I'm going to type in a name. So let's just say Talia Smith. There we go, that's a name I've just made up. And in our character palette, we can adjust the font size by just left clicking and dragging on the two letter T's. So let's reduce this down. And I'm going to keep the same letter spacing as well and just move this up a little bit. With the text tool selected, just select the My Secret text and at the top select the color picker and just pick somewhere between pink and red, something nice and vibrant. And the last thing I'm going to do is just create a new layer that's above the levels layer. 
select black as your foreground color, select the fill tool and just fill this with black and then change the opacity to let's say 20 and we can double click on the layer text and just type overlay to give that a name and if I turn it off you can see it just helps bring out that Talia Smith text that is a little bit harder to read and we can increase the darkness of that, the opacity possibly to 30 or 60 you can adjust this as you like to get the desired effect and it just helps the text stand out a little bit more whilst still keeping the image visible at the same time and there we go, that's how we can create album artwork in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.